Hey everyone, welcome back to another Gem Room video. This time we are doing Blue Diamond's Room finally, and <laughs> it was made by Virginia. Yeah, it's, it's been a long, long time. And of course, as always, I'm here with Michael to ask them a few questions about the room, the process, and some personal, more personal questions. So what inspiration did you draw from for Pink Diamond's Room? Um, so... Blue. blue. <laughs> oh, Blue Diamond's. <laughs> yes, we're not, we're not at Pink Diamond's yet. <laughs> yeah. Um, so for Blue Diamond, the moment like I first saw like uh, her on the TV show and just like, like the little hidden ones on the wall and everything like that, mm -hmm. I really got like a Hindu henna like theme from mm -hmm. her. So I yeah. really was looking into like a lot of henna designs and everything like that. So it kind of like came with inspiration for a lot of the buildings and stuff. Um, and uh, I kind of like imagined her with her room like it would just have this like very like elegant like structural like position so it wouldn't be like mm -hmm. too messy like some of the other rooms so i just like kind of kept it like really structural and simple and just like kind of made it look at templish and like very open space that's kind of what the theme i was going for and i really looked into a lot of the steven universe backgrounds and uh for the gems i know like i didn't want to make it too earth like you know because she's she's been around for a while so you don't really yeah, know like yeah. what type of like structure so i tried to put it like make it a little bit sci-fi but i really love the geometric shapes so i i had to throw those in there nice yeah i love it yeah. um so there's like a lot of little details in the room and a couple things i noticed um maybe you could explain them more are those her uh planets that she's uh she rules or what exactly yeah, yeah that's actually like one of the things i like kind of thought of which is like this open out into space because they you know they're gems they don't really have like earth like properties so it's just like she just like i thought it would be a cute little like easter egg thing to have like all of her planets sort of like near her and then like be able to actually watch over them mm. so it'd be kind of like she's like actually always keeping an eye on them <laughs> that's awesome so do you have like a head cannon like can she literally go to those planets or is it just like more of a uh, visual mine, thing? It's more like yeah it's more like a visual like projectile um thing that i kind of had with that idea where it's like they're not like physically there but like image wise they are so she can like actually like zoom in and like if she caught somebody like doing something wrong she could call them out <laughs> so there's also blue pearl in the picture i believe on the bottom yeah i always imagined like since um from the tv show it seems like they kind of like the pearls are very close to their diamonds so i felt like blue pearl would be like able to have a little bit of access to it mm -hmm. um with with the with the design of it, I kind of came up because I've been playing. I'm not gonna lie, like Breath of the Wild a hey, lot. So oh yeah. <laughs> so so I kind of had like a cool idea of like a uh, floating platform, so you can kind of see a little one behind like the waterfall, but they're like constantly moving. So it's like she just kind of like walks whenever it like comes over um, and everything like that. But I just imagine like Blue Pearl would just stand like at the edge of it, just waiting mm. for like Diamond to come back when she needs like her alone time and just wait for her. Love it, love it. So, what? How did you get this like artistic style? Like, it looks kind of—I don't even know how to explain it. Like, it's very—it's very unique. Oh, thank you. Um, I really pulled a lot of inspiration. Like, I was really looking at like, uh, I was really like inspired by the Steven Universe, like the background artist who did like um, a lot of the background for the TV show. Mm -hmm. And um, there was this kind of there's kind of this brush that I found that just made this very like uh kind of like when you notice some of the steven universe backgrounds they have that really cool like brush style look right and i'm kind of like obsessing over it so i i might have overdid it a tiny bit but <laughs> um <laughs> I, thought that, I thought it really helped with the theme and you know really keep it like this cool like um gl like glistening kind yeah. of like space looking kind of design definitely oh yeah <laughs> So some final cool details that I noticed were a lot of things about Pink Diamond. Um, like she, I, I think she's holding her bubble, a bubble chart to Pink Diamond and something on the corner for Pink Diamond. Could you explain that? I guess. About so like like how I had like the floating like little island parts. I always yeah. pictured like since Blue Diamond is just so like affected by Pink Diamond being shattered, they must have been like so close. So even though she like goes to visit her zoo all the time, like I feel like she snuck some things in her room so that like, you know, Yellow Diamond can't constantly just keep popping up. So I kind of like threw in like a little Easter egg kind of thing where it's like I had like, you know, little shards and like her bubbled them. Like, you know, maybe not the whole thing, but maybe she found like one or two 
she always like mourns <laughs> over it. Dark. And then uh, <laughs> I know, I know it's dark, but it's kind of you know, it's it. I feel like a lot of people are gonna be like, yep, yep, she totally has yeah, them. Definitely. <laughs> and then like I kind of like. Uh, I had a friend kind of suggest it where it was like if she like kept like, you know, little knickknacks of pink diamond kind of just like floating around and just put a shawl over it. So like mm -hmm. over the corner, it's kind of like a pillar, kind of like uh, uh, from like some of the gem like temples. So it, it's kind of like with me, like if you kind of like look really close at it, like I was kind of trying to do like the seren like the celebration of when she first like got Earth and like, you know, everybody praising her and mm -hmm. kind of like. But she still throws a shot over it so because she doesn't want to constantly keep looking at it, but she still wants it in the room. Right. And I want to really emphasize that it's from Pink Diamond, so I made the land, like, actual Earth. Like, she just, like, ripped it out and took it with her. Wow. <laughs> you put a lot of fun in this. It's amazing. I, I really loved Blue Diamond the moment she, like, came out. Like, I have been nonstop drawing her. <laughs> she is great. Uh, so was there anything that you wanted to put into the room that you weren't able to fit for whatever reason? I kind of wanted to put in like maybe like in the background more like uh, towers like you know just to show like more of like her domain and everything like the planet that she probably like rules the most and like or like the shuttle that she's probably on the most and mm -hmm. you know like the, the towers for like knowledge and everything like that but um, I didn't want to go too overboard so I kind of like uh, got rid of that idea um, so I just I kind of wanted to just like you know I, I would have thrown those in and um, I probably would, I probably, uh, it, it's actually been a while since I've done, um, some digital paint, mm -hmm. uh, painting, so I would have probably spent even more time on this one, but I didn't want to spend, like, my whole, like, life on it. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so I kind of, like, stopped myself, and I'm just, like, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, so now on to some more personal questions. Um, do you have a personal favorite character or fusion from Steven Universe? Uh, my absolute uh, favorite, and I call her my spirit gem, is Peridot. Like the <laughs> moment, the moment she became a crystal gem, my heart like you know exploded. Um, I can relate to her the most. She's just she's so funny and she's so tech savvy, and I love her whole like you know everybody draws her with like the, the underwear and like the alien theme and everything. And she's another one that I draw all the time. And um, it, and then it would be like Blue Pearl and uh, Blue Diamond after her, which and it's also funny. Like the moment you guys told me that I was getting Blue Pearl, I just finished an illustration about her, so oh, I was wow. just like, oh, God, "It's fate." <laughs> <laughs> it was foretold. It was foretold in my dreams. <laughs> uh, so, do you have any favorite episodes or a favorite episode? I don't know if we've had anyone who has given us one singular favorite episode yet. Yeah, I have. I actually do have one favorite episode. <gasps> what? I pick it over all the others, and it, it's it's actually Stephen's uh, Stephen's dream, and wow. it's a specific <laughs> scene. It's a specific scene in that dream or in the in the episode um, when they go over to Asia, like Korea, and the moment they like when they're like when they had free time and they go over to uh, the animation studio, oh and Greg just kind of like looks around, and before Stephen can notice, he just awkwardly pushes him out. <laughs> I was cracking up so hard. I was like, oh man, animation team, thank you for putting that in. That was hilarious. It's so trippy. A lot of, a lot of questions after that about oh, reality. Yeah. And that was just a giant, like, ha ha from, like, the studio. And I was yeah. just, like, I was like, loving it. I was like, thank you for doing that. And that's, and that's what made it my favorite one. After that, I would have never been able to pick one. <laughs> that's amazing. So, how long have you been doing art uh, more seriously? Uh, more seriously, I think, uh, <laughs> During high school is when I really started getting serious about it. Um, I knew I wanted to go to college for it, and I did. I went to um, an art school, um, and I graduated. And right now, I'm just currently working on, you know, my. I'm trying to create my own business right now. I'm um, trying to start off my own Etsy, my Etsy shop, nice. and just, uh, you know, create my own YouTube channel. So it's a work in progress. Um, but I kind of want to be my own boss and then also like oh, yeah. try to apply myself to the big uh, networks. Like currently right now, I'm actually working on a couple of comics and they should be coming out this summer. Um, so really excited about that. And main goal is to totally reach uh, Cartoon Network, you know, with one of my comics. So keep an eye out for That'd be me. Awesome. Definitely. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. So speaking of which, where can people find these comics and all the other stuff you do? Um, currently right now, since I'm still working on the shops and working on the comics and everything like that, uh, they, 
they would be able to find it once I get my Epsi, Epsi shot um, running. And then when um, there'll be a couple that I'll probably put on Comic Logic, mm -hmm. um, just free, just to get some people to you know get interested in me. And then if you're like hardcore serious about me, you can start maybe buying a couple. <laughs> hey, nice, nice. So what what about just like your fan art and stuff like that? Do you have a like Tumblr Deviant Art? Um, I actually just specifically stick to like Instagram. It's pretty much like oh, been cool. my favorite. I do have a Tumblr and a Twitter, but. Yeah, I'm, I feel so bad because I ignore those babies all the time. <laughs> I'm on Instagram and then the, the day is gone and I go, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But I will I will be getting a lot better with those. I can, I can promise you that. Gotcha. So what's the Instagram for the people? Um, so the Instagram is uh, uh, Beekwai Art Fart. What is, what is it? Beek, be <laughs> it's a Beekwai Art Fart. <laughs> Yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll have we'll have it in text in text form. Yeah, <laughs> and that's pretty much like the Twitter and the Tumblr. Once those become popular, it's pretty much I've I've got a lot of them. Pretty much like the same thing, so it's not too complicated. But I wanted gotcha. something funny. <laughs> awesome, love it. Thank you. So, do you make fan art of other cartoons? I know you mentioned like uh, Zelda and stuff. I don't know, but what do you make um, fan art of? I guess besides uh, see. Um, I'm I feel like I've like done so many. Um, I've done I've done Adventure Time. I've done um, I've, I mean obviously I've done Steven Universe. I've done a, I've done Zelda before. I've done a couple of Pokemon. Nice. I, the list can go on and on. I'll just give you a sum. I usually do games and uh, animes and popular cartoons. Nice. I just when I'm obsessed I draw. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Um, and do you do any commissions currently? Currently, right now, my commissions is closed, but once like summer comes around, so around like June, they will be opening up again. Cool. So check out uh, the Be Quiet Art Farts uh, on Instagram <laughs> in June. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Virginia, for uh, joining us and drawing Blue Diamond's room. Um, so this was actually <laughs> the last gem room that we had in store until we like see more gems. But um, in the meantime, if you have anything to suggest, guys, like new. Um, series for art artists to do because there are more artists uh we just didn't have enough gems for all of them um make sure to write in the comments down below um and also thank you everyone on our patreon and everybody else who helps support us in our videos thanks for watching see you guys